What is up my beautiful momars and welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different summer DIYs for you beautiful momars. I'm gonna be doing things you guys can do in the summer if you're bored, let's get to it. All right guys, so this one's really easy. It's called Summer Snowballs. I saw it on like Pinterest and stuff. I wanna try it, I wanna see if it looks really good. So I have some cornstarch right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up like this. Ooh, that's a lot of starch. I kinda don't like the way starch feels sometimes. It's a non-stick feeling, so it just feels really weird. But I have some Barbasol here. This is very cheap shaving cream you can buy. It's like a dollar. <coughs> Cornstarch. <coughs> okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of the shaving cream. It's kinda like we're making slime right now. This is weird. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this in. Yeah, hey, yeah, this is fun. I like just spraying shaving cream. It's really fun spraying this stuff. I really like it. That looks like a good amount, right? So you just have some shaving cream. And this is where it gets kind of fun and also sort of messy. So you want to take cornstarch and you want to mix it in with the shaving cream. And so I live in California, so there really isn't any like snow here. This is why we're making summer snowballs. It feels like snow. I, it looked harder on the internet. It looked like really hard, like hard powder, but this legit feels like snow. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna start making them. And I actually have a snowball launcher, so we maybe can even use that later. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going like this, mixing it around. It's very soft. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder, but these snowballs feel very nice. Oh my gosh. Leave some comments below. If this video does well, if we get over two million views on this video and a ton of comments, maybe I'll make a summer snowball bath. You guys can feel how this feels. It feels very like relaxing and soft. It's very satisfying. Okay, now it's just kind of stuck to my hands. Before they weren't really stuck to my hands, but now they are very stuck. All right, so I made my snowballs, but here is my snowball launcher in LA. We don't have real snow, but this is supposed to make like snowballs, so let's see if this even works. Like you put it in here, and let me grab like a little bit more. I'm just gonna take this one. And put it, we'll split it into these. Apparently this is supposed to make snowballs, so let's see if it makes summer snowballs. <sighs> That's pretty nice. This is my summer snowball, and it feels so great. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my first summer snowball. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna throw it at this orange thing right here. Here we go. It explodes like snow. It is, it's like exactly like snow, wait. Okay, there's a leg right here, guys. Here we go. What? Okay, I gotta launch one. I gotta launch one out of my launcher here. Put it into the snowball launcher. Well, bam, here we go. Oh, that was too strong. It just destroyed the snowball on impact. It's very throwable. Look at this. Oh, what? That's so cool. In summer, people that live in LA can have snowballs too. We can have snowballs too. What? Look at these. These are so beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to get hit by one. Let's do this. All right, guys, so now I want to see what it feels like to get hit by a summer snowball. Oh, wow. It doesn't hurt, but it feels awesome. It's like... It's very puffy, it hit me right in the belly. <laughs> Whoa! It's only made out of cornstarch and it only costs a dollar, guys. This is so much fun and it feels so nice. Whoa! Snowballs in summer. All right, guys, for this snowball, I'm gonna try to catch it. Let's see if I can catch this snowball. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, I caught it. Okay. Wow, I'm gonna throw one more. This is so fun. This just feels so nice. Okay, here we go. So satisfying. I love throwing summer snowballs. If you guys have some shaving cream and some cornstarch, you can make it too. All right, guys, so this is from the dollar store. It's only one dollar. It says, hello, summer. So I thought it was perfect for this video. Uh, these are foam planes. I don't think I've ever even had these kind. When I was younger, I had these like wooden ones. Uh-oh, I just mixed all the planes together and all the parts. I don't know where they all go. Okay, it's okay, I can build this because I am a genius. Don't worry, I'm gonna put this right here. Bang, right there, bang, bang. Then I'm gonna put this one this way like this. That looks right to me. So I just put this right here and I clip these onto the front of it. And then I guess you just get a rubber band and then you fling it like this. All right, let's go test this out outside. All right guys, so now I have my airplanes. Look at them, they're outside. I'm here, these are dollar store airplanes. Let's see how good these bad boys work, okay? So I guess you just hook it on like this. All right, let's let it rip. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try this again. I got another one, don't worry guys. Let it. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna do this again. Here we go. Am I doing this wrong? Okay, let's just try throwing it. I feel like that would work. These are airplanes, you know, they're meant to fly. Here we go. Be free! 
I mean, it's pretty cool still. Wait, let me just, here we go. Okay, so I got my airplane. Here we are. Wow, these are still pretty cool though. Summertime. <laughs> they just crashed. Wait, I want to just launch one so high in the air. That's my goal in life right now, just to get it to go really high. Darn it. Maybe if I get two of them right here, I put this one on here, this one right here. Oh, it won't even launch and it won't fly. Look, look, I'll try to throw it to you. Ready? Here we go. Catch, guys. <laughs> okay, maybe $1 airplanes are not the best investment. They're not really that cool. Never mind, I thought these were gonna be way cooler. Okay, see, I'm glad I found this out for you guys. See, $1 things, not that great. All right, I would give these airplanes uh, like uh, a four out of 10 because they suck. Don't buy these guys, these are a dollar. Save your money, because they don't fly. They won't even fly over there. All right, on to the next one. All right, guess the next thing I'm gonna make is a pool noodle bow and arrow. Okay, so you can play with this in the pool and all sorts of fun stuff. All right, so I have my pool noodle. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. Ooh, very satisfying. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. So now I just need a skewer, and I'm gonna poke it at the top right here. Go to the bottom right here, poke it there. Cause that is where I'm gonna put this handy dandy string in. So what I'm gonna try to do is tie the string directly to my skewer, just like this. Come on, Mr. String. Okay, there we have it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and poke it through once more. Come on, Mr. String. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this through the back end like this. So I have the string right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie it to the top. Tie this some more. That looks pretty strong to me. Drop it like it's hot down here. Ooh, it's already looking like bow-like and stuff. Beautiful, okay. So I'm just gonna give myself a lot more string than I need. So if I mess up, I can just cut off the excess string. I'd rather have more string than less string. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Bam! And then I'm going to put this in here like so. It helps if you have a skewer, but the skewer doesn't necessarily put this kind of string through because the string is so fibery. So I just use my finger like this and just pop right through it like, ah. Now I'm gonna tie this across again once I get it to the tight level that I want it to be. Like there, that's like a good amount. I feel like I'm in like the wilderness right now. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and tie this one more time. Ooh, makes like a nice noise. This looks like a bow and arrow. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy. I got a bow and arrow foam noodle. Oh my gosh. All right, so now I'm gonna cut my pool noodle in half of here. I'm gonna make the arrow. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this bad boy directly down the center. Okay, so I have this, and you just make sure I cut it through. Okay, so now we can make like an arrow by shaping it like this. Just cut the top a little bit like that. Cut the top right there. And then we can cut this. This is like some artsy stuff, okay. So we'll cut this down the side. So now I kind of made like an arrow, looks like that. And then you're just going to want to cut a slit the back of it. And that's what will hold the actual thing. Let me just measure it so it looks right. Okay. Ooh, okay. Wait. So I kind of got to cut it like this. I'm gonna cut it downward like this. Kinda like you're cutting like a sandwich or a donut or something. So you go like this. Bam, like that, right? Now go ahead and put that on the back end like this. Ooh. And now we're gonna go test it out. Alright, so I have my bow and arrow. Let's shoot it. Here we go. Whoa! This thing's way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, so surprising. I didn't think this thing was gonna work at all, but it shoots. Really fast, it's way better than that airplane. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I just shoot like, look how fast this thing goes. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> guys, this thing is awesome, look at it. Wait, I'm gonna try to shoot you guys right here, here we go. Whoa, it flies so fast. For just being made out of foam, like this thing is such strong tension. What the heck, this could have been a whole DIY video by itself, but this is so much fun. Summer, you're not ready for me. Ooh, I don't know if I'm just like 
easily amused, but this is very impressive for a full noodle and just like some foam. Guys, I would shoot my friends all day. All day. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That is so fun. That is really fun. Like, I highly recommend this one. I would give this one a 9 because it is just so much fun. It really blew past all my expectations. You could definitely go swimming with it. You could shoot all your friends in the pool. Man, if you guys don't have Nerf guns, I would totally make these. Like, make these. These are awesome. All right, on to the next summer thing. All right, the next thing, guys, we found at the dollar store for summer is this bubble gel. Guys, I've never seen this before, so let's see it. Bubble gel. What the heck? Blow giant bubbles. You guys know bubbles like my middle name. I'm so excited for this right now. Ooh, that feels nice. Wait, this is awesome. So I guess you can blow giant bubbles with this. All right, let's blow this giant bubble. Okay, so I guess you just put a little bit on this. You pinch and hold this bubble gel right here. And you just go ahead and blow it. Oh, it popped. Wait, give me a second. Look how big that thing is getting. And this feels weird. It doesn't feel like anything I've ever felt before. It feels almost like slime. It does not feel like um, one of those sticky like things you would blow something into. But what? Oh, oh. Where's the hole at? No, where's the hole? That almost worked, guys. I almost made a huge one right there. Wait, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do it. So flatten it out like this. And then I put it like this. Oh, whoa. That was pretty big still. Wait, I wanna get one. That's big. Here we go, bubble gel. Wow, that is pretty big, though. That is pretty big. Whoa, it looks kind of like a jellyfish now. It feels weird. I like it. I wonder if I can like, I wonder what happens if I try to blow the whole thing. Here we go. Put this in here like this. Put this like this. Oh, it just like farted. Wait, give me a second. Whoa, it's like a bubble with teardrop. This is crazy, it keeps sliding down. Look at this bubble, guys. This is so insane. This is so weird. This is so, oh, it just popped. Okay, wow, that was awesome. Okay, bubble gel. I would give bubble gel an 8.5 because not only is it an awesome bubble thing, it's very satisfying. It's kind of like slime, you can play with it. You can just play with all the slime together like this. Ooh, this is nice, Bubble Gel. I like it. Ooh, it just tears in the middle. I like it, Bubble Gel. This is fun. So this is a pool noodle ball shooter, okay? So I'm gonna just cut it right here. I'm pretty excited about this one because I don't, I, no one's ever actually launched it. I just wanna see how it works. But apparently, okay, so you take this and you wanna go ahead and take like a balloon. You wanna wrap it over this. Oh, no, I ripped it. Maybe I gotta like loosen it up first. I gotta stretch it out. Oh, stretch it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this like this. Mm. This is harder to stretch than I thought it would be. Come on, because I don't want to rip it. Get in there! <laughs> it won't get in there! Mm. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it, Mr. Balloon. If you rip, you rip. Ah. Alright, maybe I'm just gonna try a bigger balloon. I'll be right back. You know, I'm just gonna try cutting this in half. Like this, but I'm also gonna cut this a little bit in half, like right here. Oh, there's a, is there something in there? What is that? Ew! I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on top of this, like this. Okay, this is gonna be like my little shooter. Okay, go ahead and wrap it around like this. Okay, so now I have my mini shooter. It's really cool because you can like hide it. But first, we have to test it and see if it works. All right, so I'm gonna put a marshmallow in here. Let's see. Well, it makes a cool noise. Wait, okay, maybe the marshmallow isn't the best idea. Let's try a cocoa puff. Here we go. I'm gonna pull back. Whoa, where'd it go? I'm gonna try to shoot it at the cup. Here we go. That time it just fell out. That was very anticlimactic. Oh, do you hear that? That was pretty hard. So what I'm gonna do is just actually cut right here down the center, make it a little thinner. So hopefully this works. And I can put my bouncy ball here like this. Do you guys see that? 
I'm just kidding, it's still in here. It won't come out. The bouncy ball is too fat to be shot out of this, but now let's see if anything else will work better. So I'll put my marshmallow in here. Let's see if it shoots. Oh, I just broke it. Okay, so this thing works pretty well, but not that well. I would rate this summer DIY as a, I would give it like a, a 7.6 because it shoots these really hard, these cocoa pebbles, but anything else kind of sucks. Like the, I can't shoot balls, I can't shoot marshmallows. But to compare it, I also got this at the dollar store, okay? So this is really cool. It's a little dart gun that also comes with a little sign right here that so you can target and shoot things. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this out. I'm gonna open my dart gun. Let's see how strong this is. This is a dollar, okay guys? All right, here we go. Uh, here we go. Whoa! That really surprised me on how fast it went. Oh my goodness, wait. This one knocked it over, okay. So for a dollar, you can get this awesome shooter that is like silent but deadly. This is the little like, this is the one that you don't even expect, but it shoots like crazy hard. Oh, wait, I gotta shoot it again. This thing is addicting, wait. Wait, who needs a Nerf gun? We can go to the dollar store with this gun. Wow, this gun's awesome. Guys, okay, dollar store guns, definitely a go. I really like this one. This is, oh, that went really far. I think this dollar store one, I would give this an 8.9 on the fun level. <laughs> Almost got it in the mouth. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is super fun. I really would recommend this maybe over making this because this costs a dollar too for the noodle and the balloons, but this is just a dollar and you shoot a bunch of really fun things. So I had a super fun time playing with this shooter in the summertime. All right, thank you guys so much for watching all these really fun $1 and under DIYs in the summer today. I had so much fun making them, these pool noodle ones. I'm glad you guys really enjoy the pool noodle stuff. I had a lot of fun doing it. This gun, get this gun, it is awesome. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another a new video. <gasps> Boom!